Hey kiddos, so I'm gonna show you two more videos. We're gonna finish multiplying fractions because there is one step I forgot to show you. We're going to turn an improper fraction into a mixed fraction. If you have not seen or you have not studied what an improper fraction is, it is when the number on top of a fraction is bigger than a number in the bottom. And we're going to turn this fraction into a mixed fraction. How do we do that? That's very easy. You have to divide. How many times can this six go inside 15? If you know the answer to that, or excuse me, if you've done your multiplication tables, you know that six can fit 15 only two times. So that two is the whole number. When you're turning it into a mixed fraction, it has a whole number plus a regular fraction. In a mixed fraction, the number on the top has to be smaller than the one in the bottom. And this makes it easy. Now, when we're converting the denominators, which is the bottom numbers, does not change. So over here, it would also be a six. Now we have to figure out what goes up here. And there's a very simple method to that. So two times six is 12. You subtract the 12 from 15. 15 minus 12 is three. There you go, it's that easy. Oh, but mister, how do you turn it back into a, an improper fraction? Oh, that's really easy. Two times six is 12 plus three is 15 on top. The denominator in the bottom doesn't change. There you go. See, real easy. I want y'all to practice that. There are many websites and many things out there online that you can look at that can show you how to do this in a more detailed manner or in a more simpler manner if you need it. We'll do one more. Let's make it 27 over eight. If you know your Multi, uh, your tables of eight, just count by eights. So we know there's eight, 16, 24. And now we know that eight can go inside 27 only three times. So that three becomes the whole number. The eight doesn't change. The bottom number never changes when you're converting it. So this will also be an eight. Now we're gonna figure out what goes on top. 3 times 8 is 24. 27 minus 24 is 3. Very easy. And then to convert it, well, you just follow the formula. Whole number times denominator, and then you add the numerator. So 3 times 8 is 24, plus 3 is 27. The denominator, which is the bottom number, doesn't change. So there you go. See? Same answers. I hope that helps you. Stand by for the next lesson, okay? Take care.